All right, so I'm gonna see how this goes. <laughs> I, got, I got the boo dog. I'm trying to. I got the basket, and uh, I'm trying to make a video at the same time. I'm out actually hiking. God, it's good to be out. Um, well, first time. Well, anyway, don't need to talk about me. So if uh, this is going to be a political talking video, if uh, you don't like this, uh, turn it off now. You don't want to watch this video. But I did want to comment on one thing that uh, that got my attention before I came out here, and that was that uh, New Orleans is now the murder capital of the United States. And, uh, you know, once again, okay, I know that because uh, I've offended that one uh, Democrat, I guess he's a Democrat, uh, and I, I think he's unsubscribed from my channel anyway, but, you know, think about it. New Orleans is a Democrat uh, city. So you say, well, you know, politics, don't talk politics. Politics affects ruins everything right i mean i love that statement um and uh you know so and they we're interviewing a um, there was a black woman and her child had just been murdered and uh it was horrible it was horrible to watch and uh but i wanted to scream at the television because they never asked the question well you know and she says well things won't change things won't change they you know, the criminals are out there doing this, they're doing the other. Well, of course it's not going to change. You keep voting Democrat, right? I mean, if you keep voting in the same people that have ruined your city, well, <laughs> not, nothing's going to change. So you say, okay, well, that's that's politics, right? Same thing with, um, uh, let's take a, a reverse extreme to that example. All right, uh, you know, New York City, they had the, uh, the vaccine mandate. Uh, they were treating the cops like garbage. Um, they tied their hands, uh, so a lot of those veteran cops, uh, they either retired or they moved the hell out, or um, what a lot of them did, and I thought this was pretty cool, was we had the doors wide open here in Florida for any cops that wanted to come here, especially the uh, veterans, because think about that, you know, you, all these guys, uh, you know, they've got, you know, 10, 20 years of, of background uh, policing, you know, you don't have to train them. You don't have to do anything. All you got to do is give them a nice bonus and get them to move to Florida. And uh, so um, I, I've met a few of them. A lot of them went to Miami. Okay. And Miami was, uh, well, that's now a Republican city. And uh, it's got the lowest crime rate in the country. So here is, there, once again, your politics, right? If that was a Democrat city, you'd probably have one of the highest crime rates. Uh, but I, anyway, what I was, the point that I was making was because of the politics, we were able to get a lot of veteran uh, police officers, not just in Miami, but all over Florida. I had firemen and uh, doctors, nurses, they all came here. And uh, and, and Miami's now, I think it's the, the safest city in the United States. So once again, politics, right? So if you wanna treat your uh, police like garbage, uh, not give them bonuses or decent pay, then you're gonna have high crime, and but you keep voting. Look at Philadelphia. Philadelphia, they had a, uh, there was a black woman that ran there, and uh, I liked her, man. I thought she was pretty squared away. They voted in the same Democrats. <laughs> you know, so, so nothing changed, right? I mean, Michigan right now, I think uh, you got that idiot Whitmer as a governor up there, and uh, from what I understand, she's leading in the polls, and uh, she locked down the whole state. I imagine most of the restaurants, I bet, in Michigan are out of business and everything. And they're going to vote her back in. <laughs> let's, let's vote in the person that destroyed our state. You know, politics, right? I mean, so anyway, that's uh, that's the political part of the video. And then I also wanted to get onto Ukraine just a little bit, because um, there's so much conflicting information. Uh, you know, because I watch a lot of a lot of stuff that you probably don't. Um, and uh, you know, everything I was seeing, uh, you know, as I did predict the war would be over uh, by now, but. Uh, but I didn't realize how few troops that the Russians had in Ukraine. It's only like uh, 80,000 or something like that. Oh, when we went into Iraq, we had at least 170,000. <laughs> I thought that was way too few, you know, because Iraq's a country of 50 million people. I don't know how many people live in Ukraine. But anyway, so it was just kind of a limited police action. And that's why, you know, that, that uh, conflict has drawn out. And like I said, you get a lot of conflicting information. If you watch uh, Fox or uh, any of the mainstream media, they're talking about how Putin's on his way out and the Russian people are starving. And, you know, and then of course you watch another channel or uh, somebody who's from Russia 
because I do watch uh, Russian television and they're saying everything's great you know uh, the rubles doing wonderful everybody's happy uh, you know the, the, and of course you, you watch mainstream media you know all these people are fleeing Russia because of the, the call up and, and just the opposite everybody's really happy about it you know just like here I mean we call up our reserves our National Guard all the time hell I was in the National Guard I went to Iraq you know um, did you think I was fleeing to well, I, thank God I didn't flee to Canada. <laughs> that's, that's a communist country now. Holy moly. But uh, so, so there you go. Uh, so what's going on in Ukraine uh, from what I'm seeing, okay? And like I said, it, you, it depends on who you're watching. You know, like the Duran. That's, that's who I recommend on Rumble. So just look up D-U-R-A-N, Duran. Uh, and, and you'll get you know, their, their take on the war. And they, they tell you... Uh, things are um, about to get very interesting. I, I do believe that those breakaway republics are going to vote to become part of the Russian Federation, and uh, that's going to that. So that basically Russia is going to annex that portion of, of Ukraine. Uh, from from what Duran is saying, uh, the the Ukrainians with all of their uh, their offenses have taken a beating, and they're begging for things like tanks and stuff. But you know we're getting ready to get into the uh, rainy season. And uh, nothing's going to move, and this is this is when the Russians are going to thrive. And if they really do throw 300,000 people into the conflict, um, that that war is going to be over real quick. Uh, and uh, and I hate to say it, you know, Russia is going to come out on top. And you say, well, you just love you love Russia, you love Russia. No, I, I don't love Russia. I just you know I'm, I'm glad that he's going up against the globalists. Somebody had to do it because uh, they're you know they they've destroyed Europe. Man, I wouldn't want to be there. I hope they got a lot of firewood for this winter. Um, you know, think about that. Uh, that's what the globalists do. I mean, we we got that idiot Biden. Uh, he's a globalist uh, destroying the United States. And it's, once again, back to politics, right? You know, if you're going to vote in somebody that's going to destroy your country, open up your borders, let two million people across, you know, poison 100,000 people, uh, you know, every six months with fentanyl and, and turn a blind eye to the whole thing. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? You, you know, anyway. All right, that's it for this video. Like I said, I, I, it was all political. Hope you cut it off at the very beginning. You guys have a good one. I just wanted to show, isn't this wonderful? I'm out with the dog at the park. I'm actually walking pretty good. <laughs> oh, I felt good when I woke up this morning. It's not very often. I'm always in pain, though. My back hurts. So I was pulling up weeds yesterday. And, so I can't do anything but walk today, and I figured, what the hell? Let's get out. Uh, temperature's a beautiful day here in Florida. All right, man. Peace out. Stay free. And uh, it's good to live in the free, the free, the free Republican state of Florida.